Okay, I want to show you the utter nonsense that people try to use to discredit the gospel. And uh, this lady here, th this uh, this is called The Resurrection Never Happened. It's, it's on YouTube. And I want you to listen to her argument. Prince. There are many different people who attest to having seen Jesus alive after he died. Paul was the first. Okay. I want you to listen to what she just said. She said there are many different people or many people who attest to having seen Jesus alive after he died. And then she says Paul was the first. But I want you to notice how messed up her argument is from that point on. He's writing, as you know, earlier than the Gospels. And he said... So her argument is that Paul was the first to claim that he saw Jesus alive because he's writing before the Gospels. Now, in that term, the Gospels, it would obviously include the book of Acts as well because Acts is an extension of the Gospels, which was also written by Luke after the Gospel of Luke was written. Let's continue. He never met Jesus. He never saw him physically. So she claims that Paul says that he never met Jesus. He never saw him physically. Hmm. Let's listen further. Paul's account is that he, he saw a blinding light. He heard a voice. Oh, wait a minute. Why is she citing the book of Acts as to what Paul's experience was? Hmm. One of those books she discredits as coming after Paul. You see, Paul did not um, tell about his conversion experience the way it's recorded in the book of Acts in any of his letters. Now, he mentioned it by saying, you know, uh, God saved me according to his mercy. I was a persecutor, things like that. But Paul never tells his conversion experience uh, in any of his letters he writes like he did, like it's recorded in Acts. So she's actually citing Acts as proof of her version of what Paul said in his letters. Does that make any sense? While at the same time discrediting uh, the Gospels, which Acts is a part of. Because you see, the book of Acts reveals to us that the disciples saw Jesus alive after his resurrection. And all throughout Acts, Paul is preaching the same gospel about Jesus that they preached about Jesus being alive. And not only that, but we see in the book of Acts that Paul did see Jesus. Check this out. In Acts 26, Paul recounts his uh, experience to King Agrippa. And notice what he says. At midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the bright above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me and when they were all fallen to the earth i heard a voice speaking to me hmm a voice that must be somebody that's alive talking to you i heard a voice speaking to me and saying in the hebrew tongue saul saul why persecutest thou me it is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And he, and I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said to me, Jesus, whom thou persecutest. Now notice this uh, verse right here, verse 16. But arise and stand on your feet, for I have, what? Appeared unto thee. According to Jesus, talking to Paul, he appeared unto him. But somebody might argue, yeah, but Paul saw a light. Let me tell, show you what Paul saw. Here is John on the Isle of Patmos. John, the same John that walked with Jesus. When Jesus appeared to John in the vision in the book of Revelation, he says his countenance 
was as the sun shineth in his strength. He's talking about the brightness of the glory of God that surrounds the resurrected, glorified Jesus. That's the light that Paul saw. But did Paul think that he actually saw Jesus or just some kind of vision of a light? Hmm, let's see. And he was seen or and that he was seen of Cephas, that's Peter, then of the twelve. After that, he was seen above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remaineth until this present, unto this present. But some are fallen asleep, or some have died. And after that, he was seen of James, then all the apostles, and last of all, he was seen of me also, as one born out of due time. And this woman claims that Paul uh, never saw Jesus. And that's a lie. Because people read what they want to out of the scriptures, just as some people read what they want to see into the scriptures. Let me tell you folks something. When Jesus died and rose again, he was glorified by God when God exalted him. And God, according to the scriptures, dwells in inapproachable or unapproachable light. The only way you and I can even approach God in all of his glory and splendor is through the man, Jesus Christ, who died and rose again. And the brilliance of the light that emanates from Christ, if and when we see him in his glory, which we will if we believe he died and rose again, is a light that human eyes cannot bear to look upon. Now let's continue for just a minute. What foolishness comes Jesus from this was woman? Speaking to him. He never saw a physical person. But the... Oh yes he did. Oh yes he did. And they all saw him. Peter saw him. John saw him. All the disciples saw him. Mary saw him. They saw him. They followed him. They knew he was alive. Yeah, they saw him. And there's plenty of evidence in scripture. And Jesus is alive. So don't let these foolish people that think they're scholarly, that manipulate Scripture to, to uh, support their lies, don't, don't listen to them. They're lying. This woman's a liar. I'm just calling her for what she is. She's a liar. She's lying against the, against the truth. Any person that can read ought to have enough sense to come to the conclusion that I just showed you because God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of lies. Satan is. You guys have a good day.